Hi guys, I'm Mr. 50 and today I'm going to show you how you can play Fortnite on your MacBook computer. If you have a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, there are a few steps, easy steps. Even if you don't use your MacBook at all, you should uh, do this very easy. First of all, you have to go into your App Store. After you have done that, you check the update area over here. And if you have a software update, we have one but we'll do it some time later. You should uh, update that, restart your computer and after that go into Google. You can go on Fortnite. We have just Google that so it's the first choice. On Epic Games Fortnite, very important, use the Epic Games website, not some clones or something like that because there are a lot of scams out there. We have here our account, you can log in into your account with the Facebook account or with the Google account. We have here play free now click on the yellow button and our download should start just joking there are only 14 46 megabytes after that you go into your downloads area open your installer Okay, and swipe with the Epic Games icon over the application option. If you have a password, your password will be selected and required after that. But no, that didn't happen. We have here, let's eject our launcher. And now we should have in our launch pad epic games launcher okay it's starting right now epic games launcher it's an application downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it yes we are pretty sure i am you click on the open button wait 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 please wait while we start your update it's 100 megabytes an update so just wait one eternity later nah just kidding no one eternity later required here because uh, as you can see we have a very fast internet connection it's a wi-fi but it works really fast 110 megabytes of data it's an update installing and in it installs downloads and verifies your update oh i see there are two updates but it's something that you have to download. Now we wait. Epic Games Launcher. And our Epic Game Launcher is open but not opening. Oh, okay. Let's go in full screen mode. Sign in with Google. Sign in with Facebook. Or play on your console. Keep your progression by connecting your Xbox or PlayStation here. I have both but I play Fortnite only on PlayStation so I will sign in with Facebook I've logged earlier with Facebook you have successfully connected go back to Epic Games Launcher you may close the windows now okay welcome back Mr. 50 so first step I will remove Fortnite I will show you why because I tried to install it earlier so now nah, this is uh, what you will see after you are connected you have here an install button missing system requirements that's why I told you in the first place that you have to do the update your computer does not meet the following requirements to run Fortnite are you sure you want to install it install this update and you can install it anyway but Fortnite will be susceptible to crashes, data loss, and corruption if ran, blah blah blah, things like that. So I really highly recommend you do the software update, install it and after that in this area you should have a play button. I will do that in, and I will fast forward this because I'm curious like you guys if Fortnite will run on my MacBook. A few moments later. And now, after my software update just installed, like in an hour, uh, now we have to see if we can play the game. So, no more waiting. 
you click on Epic Games Launcher that you will find onto your launch pad or onto your bar. I don't know, bar. Anyhow, you understand where you can find it. And now, settings button. Ooh, English and our native language. Sign out, sign in with Facebook. So, Come on, Internet! We have previously logged on to Epic Games with our Facebook account. We have successfully connected. Yay! Welcome back, Mr. 50. You are signed into your account. Now we have here an attention that the servers are online and uninstall button. Our install location. Install whatever you want, but just install it this year. It would be nice. We have here something like a button with Fortnite. What? Oh, please wait. Please wait again. One eternity later. So, finally, after my game just installed, we have now the option to launch it. And next to the launch button, I see a settings wheel. But I don't really know what that. Oh, option uninstall verify settings. We have here some settings, but nothing about the video quality or something like that. Fortnite, you will need like 20 gigabytes of data for it, so you have to have a lot of space. And just launch it. See what happens. Fortnite, open GL not supported. You must have a metal compatible graphic cards and be running Mac OS 10.11.6 or later to launch this process. So that's a fail, but probably on your computer it would work. As you have seen earlier, if we click the launch button on the Epic Games launcher and wait. And wait. And wait. A few moments later. Our game is now starting. We have here Fortnite. Open GL not supported. You must have a metal compatible graphic card and be running Mac OS a newer version. So We need an individual graphics card that is metal compatible and a newer version of software. So if you have, you can find it on apples.com on the support area. Every model that has a dedicated graphics card and OpenGL compatible. So my MacBook, MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, 13 inch, late 2011, has Intel HD graphics and a 3.3 OpenGL version. So, if you have the 15 inch, late 2011, or if you have a dedicated video card, you will have 4.1 OpenGL and your game should work. But here we cannot launch it. This is the tutorial you should do. Step by step, guarantee if you have a dedicated video card, your game should start. I was 50, till next time, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and turn out the notification bell that is in the right, the yes, the right corner. So, see ya, bye.